Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an offline copy of your Blogger blog, your WordPress blog, or your EduBlogs blog. This came up because last Friday, a lot of people panicked when Blogger was down for a little while. So let's take a look at how this works in Blogger. Go into your Blogger dashboard, and if you want to export a copy of your blog to back up for offline use, which I recommend doing on a pretty regular basis, just go into your settings, and you're gonna scroll down here, and we're gonna keep scrolling and 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 scrolling until we see manage blog, and we're going to say backup content. So now we're going to download an XML file that includes all the content of my Blogger blog. And when I say all the content, I mean everything I've put into a post or a page in my Blogger blog is now in that XML file. Now, if you're doing this in EduBlogs, which is powered by the WordPress platform, you can use the tools menu in your dashboard, select export, and then download the export file. And in this case, you have the option to export just posts, just pages, just the media, or everything. In this case, I'm gonna do just my post, and I can even choose a range of dates if I want to. But in this case, I'm going to export all of it. So let's export it all. And again, we'll see there's an XML file that I now have on my desktop. And the same is true if you're using a WordPress blog, or you're using wordpress.org or wordpress.com. Go to the tools menu, hit export, and then you can choose again, what do you want to export? In this case, let's say I want to export my posts. Let's download that file. And again, I'll have an XML file. Now, if I want to move these posts into another platform, well, it's kind of just the inverse of that. Let's say I want to import things into EduBlogs. Well, go to Tools, hit Import, and then choose the type of import that you want to do. You can even use the Advanced WordPress Importer. You can use the Blogger Importer, and you can see some other options there as well. Same is true here. If you want to import in a wordpress.org or wordpress.com, you can do it right there. And in Blogger, you have the option to import content. And again, it's going to ask you to prove you're not a robot and then upload your file. So that's how you can back up your Blogger, WordPress, or EduBlogs blog so you can save an offline copy of it and reuse it when and where you want to. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.